So what we're going to look at here is the uh, the two responses, um, I guess reflexes that are wired into the muscles. One is the uh, the monosynaptic stretch reflex, which is uh, I guess mediated by the muscle spindles. So this is the one where when the muscle lengthens in the belly of the muscle, you've got the muscle spindles, and and they detect that rate of uh, change in length, and they fire off. Um, signals accordingly. So if we have a look here this muscle is being stretched and as a result it's firing off signals and it's causing a uh, contraction in the uh, in the muscle. So what it's doing is it's actually trying to maintain its length and this is one of those protective mechanisms so have a look at the end. The muscle is being stretched those muscle spindles are being stretched and they go and tell that muscle to contract. Um, now obviously there'll be voluntary messages overlaid um, from the nervous system, the central nervous system, to tell that muscle to continue to lengthen in a normal contraction. So for instance if we were lowering the weight on a barbell curl, uh, if we were lowering it down then we would continue to let that muscle lengthen. Um, but there is always this feedback loop going on um, which will control the rate of lengthening so that's the the muscle spindles in action. If we look at the Golgi tendon organ, what's happening here is if there's a lot of nervous system firing going into that muscle, obviously the muscle would produce a heck of a lot of force and that force is always transferred through the tendon there. Now as we know the old Golgi tendon organs don't like a whole lot of force and what they do is they fire off a signal um, via an inhibitory neuro interneuron which means that they will uh, tell the, the muscle to stop firing. So if we have a look at that again, here's the first big firing of force that comes down. There's actually too much force in the muscle. The te Golgi tendon organ has detected that and it's sending signals back to this inhibitory interneuron which is going to cause the shutdown of this contraction to reduce the force. So let's have a look at it, that again. We get that initial contraction which is too much. The Golgi tendon organ activates, comes back. This is an inhibitory motor neuron and it's telling this to stop. See there's no more firing coming out of here. Um, now you actually see this at times, this exact response of someone's for instance doing a bench press and they're right at the end of the set and they're absolutely shattered and there's a lot of tension, a lot of force within that muscle belly and the, and the pectorals and the chest. They will sometimes get this happening and what happens is that this, re this reflex shuts off the pec muscles and of course if you're doing a bench press and the bar's above you and you're about to rack it and, those mu and that pec muscle shuts off the bar comes straight back down towards you pretty quickly as well so what you'll see there is people who are really struggling and uh, particularly if they're lifting weights that are really outside of what their reflexes are used to, what their Golgi tendons are used to um, they can actually end up with that that dropping of the weight back onto them um, quite useful because if you think of the other option is, is actually the tendons getting pulled off the bones now I have been in the gym before where I've seen someone tear their pec straight off their uh, off their bone. So their Golgi tendon organ didn't fire. It, it said they were used to this amount of force, they could cope with it. But instead, what happened is this tendon here just got pulled straight off the bone, um, and it's a it's a very nasty injury as well. So the Golgi tendon organs then very protective. Um, and quite handy to have working properly.